Chlorine dioxide kills bacteria through multiple mechanisms. In bacteria, chlorine dioxide oxidizes fatty acids and membrane lipids in the cell membrane. This disrupts the permeability of the outer membrane, resulting in the inability of the cell to regulate the movement of molecules into and out of the cell. ClO2 also denatures cellular proteins in the membrane and within the cell itself by oxidizing amino acids that make up these proteins. As a result, the proteins change shape and lose functionality. This can make the cell unable to generate energy, unable to move molecules in and out of the cell, and unable to stay alive. In bacterial endospores, the inner membrane is essential for viability. ClO2 penetrates and damages the inner membrane, making the spore leaky. In viruses, as shown in this RNA virus, ClO2 reacts with the protein capsid, allowing RNA to be released. The RNA then reacts with the ClO2, and RNA synthesis is disabled, so the virus cannot replicate. These reactions with cellular biomolecules result in impairment or death of the microorganism. The collective damage from this multifaceted attack prevents the microorganism from developing resistance and makes ClO2 both broad spectrum and efficacious at a low dose.